Hey everybody, welcome to my first ghost investigation. Okay, we shot this in Lacquabish at the rectory. And in the in the book, Ghost Stories of Alberta, is how we found this place. It was me and my little brother Justin, that's him right there. Uh, yeah. Anyways, mysteriously the sound was not recorded, which was strange because while I was recording, I was getting levels in, on my headphones. Wow, I hated that part. That was so scary. Well, anyways, yeah, that's the outside shot of the rectory. And apparently on the second floor, there was a priest. Well, people seeing a priest. And, yeah. Well, me and my brother were shooting a documentary for History Television, and we canoed the Athabasca for 36 days. And while we were in Lacquabish, me and my me and my little brother were, you know, like ghost buffs. Like who isn't? And we asked the mayor of uh, Lacquabish if we could go check out the rectory because we heard the story. Well, actually, we we read the story in Ghost Stories of Alberta. So we took we asked we asked the mayor if we could go in there at 12 midnight. So a bunch of us from the the. the crew we ended up uh, going there at 12 and the mayor couldn't believe we wanted to do that he actually said if you could find somebody to let you in go right for it so we actually had the permission from the mayor so we checked it out and we were just walking this is the part yeah we did hear some yelling very strange so yeah, we're just looking through the windows, waiting for, uh, waiting for the guy to show up. That's my little brother. Yeah, so it was pretty late that night. And way up north there, it still looked like just evening. But yeah. Yeah, this was my very, very first ghost investigation. I uh, was like, it was a dream come true. I wanted to do that. So we, we walked in there and checked it out. And we're at this part in the, the video, we're still looking around. That's the top of Ed's head. And I thought that was somebody standing. <laughs> Oh, okay, here's, uh, he's showing up. All right, he's going to step out and open the door. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. His daughter there uh, didn't, she was scared, actually. She heard the story. He didn't want to go near the place. And uh, we asked him if we could, if he could let us in. And he got the call from the mayor to meet us there at 12 midnight. And, uh, yeah, he was telling us, I can't believe anybody wants to go in. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah, he's, yeah, he was saying, are you sure you want to go in? It was so funny. Yeah, we actually convinced a couple of people to come with us. And uh, yeah, that's the caretaker. And uh, his daughter, he, he, his daughter tagged along, I guess. Yeah, she was very upset. She didn't want him to go inside. So yeah, um, as the first, yeah, the, okay, yeah, the, we're going in. It was very, oh man, it was so cool. I can't believe this place burnt down. Yeah, there's 
just walk you know, we're just walking through there. I think that's a priest priest uh, bedroom. Yeah, okay, so the the legend is it's a priest on the second floor and he's been seen by many people, I guess. So much so that it, uh, yeah, the story ended up in the ghost stories of Alberta. Okay, yeah, right there, we we're too sure if we can go up. And that's uh, my buddy Ed. Okay, the small chapel here in the Ghost Stories of Alberta, it, legend has it that there's a, a um, yeah, a lady in white standing beside the, the altar right there. Yeah, she's supposed to stand there. Yeah, me and my little brother were very interested to see that room. Oh no, yeah, that's right, his daughter went in with us. That was so, oh, look, oh, you could see how scared she was. Let's go, Daddy. <laughs> that's what she's going. She's going, I don't want to stay in here. And uh, he said, how long do you guys want us in there? I mean, how long are you going to stay? And I said, well, we're just going to have a quick look around. So that's what we did. We just looked around. Okay, Ed's the first guy to go up. Okay, at this part, me and Justin were going, okay, if we see a priest, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was so cool being in there. All right, there's some signs. See that sign right there? And that was a school. And as you can see, the words aren't spelled correctly. So Ed, uh, yeah, he said, let's have a look at that. And that was uh, a school. And they were teaching people how to spell and to read. I think they did a pretty good job, I don't know. I can spell better than that. Yeah, it was so strange there wasn't any noise because for all we know, well, for all I know, we could have been hearing whispers like in the audio EVP. But this was back uh, 2000. I'm not too sure if there's there was any ghost investigators. Well, ghost shows. Well, yeah, I, I think there was, yeah. Okay, that's the door upstairs to the attic. Oh, I remember that. Okay, I'm not too sure if we went up. I think we did. Oh yeah, we're still looking around. Um, not too sure if this was a residential school. I'm not too sure. Very creepy. 
And to think that I think that that place was well over a hundred years. And I'm sure that was punishment for some children in there. I'm not too sure, sorry to say. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Ed was... Yeah, he was brave. Me and uh, Justin were very... Well, I don't know, we just checked it out. Yeah, um, yeah, we heard something move up there. Oh, it's uh, my friend Jennifer. She just had to come. <laughs> Ghost, okay, I'm in. That's what she said. So. Okay. <laughs> One minute is good enough, for, I guess, up there. Yeah, back to those signs. It was very strange. Um, actually, yeah, that's right. Uh, cigar. Yeah, that's the smell that we could smell with cigar. I, re I remember that. Yeah, I have to excuse the camera work. I was, I was in. Well, I was pretty scared. still walking around here yeah this is the hallway where that priest was uh, supposedly supposedly get out of here <laughs> that's my cat cake I mean uh, bars yeah buddy I'm just watching my new well my first ghost investigation Yeah, you said it, buddy. Okay, we weren't allowed to the basement. And that uh we we felt was kind of kind of strange. So at this part we're deciding, okay, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna, what are we, what else to do? Yeah, the caretaker's daughter just wanted to get out of there. Yeah, this I added a little jump scare. Kinda, kinda crazy. Oh, sorry, I wasn't there. Oh, <laughs> actually, this guy got scared. I forgot I put that in there. Well, I knew I did, but I forgot where. All right. And that's, yeah, us going out. And I, I can't believe it's all burnt now. It's gone. He didn't lock it. Or I think it's locked. I don't know, but that was our first ghost investigation. That's my brother Justin. Yeah, he was just he was just having a great time. And twelve midnight yeah, twelve midnight we were all tired. I mean canoeing the Athabasca. Or yeah, the North Saskatchewan River from five AM to seven, eight in the evening. Yeah. Not too sure what those stickers are. 
but yeah I'm not too sure if there was um, um, one of the books was open or it was closed I'm not too sure we were talking about this while we were out there so we're trying to find the book okay yeah uh, that kind of scared me <laughs> yikes but yeah there's a book on one of the tables there by the window it's a red light from the camera I love that camera it was uh, the DSR 300 Yeah, the book right there. Uh, so they were saying it was closed, but I can't remember. I'll have to rewind the footage. We'll look at the video again. But they were, uh, I think Ed was saying that it was closed. I'm not quite sure. And yeah, still walking around. Or was that the book? I'm not too sure. But yeah, that was the rectory in Lac La Biche, and now it's burnt. I'm not too sure if they decided to rebuild it or whatever, but yeah, thanks to the mayor who, for letting us go there. I'm not too sure if that was the book. Boy, if that place was still up, I would would have liked to go back. Been very cool to do like a 30 minute challenge or something. Ah, spider. Yeah, this was uh, my first ghost investigation, so it's kind of a dream, dream come true. You read it in the book and then you're actually there. Very cool. The old priest. I'm not too sure if that was a residential school, not quite sure. Yeah, and we're just walking away, and that's the end of it. Yeah, so that was my first ghost investigation. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.